Good morning, YouTube. It's been a while. Today, I'm going to share with you uh, the process that I went through to develop my absolute very first corporate documentary film. So I've been working on a, uh, a change management project in my consulting practice uh, of my company. And one of the things that, uh, that uh, the project team had agreed on was the creation of a corporate documentary video that is going to be shown at a town hall that uh, the project team is is organizing uh, and I had uh, suggested this idea because I think it's a very good way of getting uh, the leadership of the organization to really express what it is that they feel about the company I find that most of the time, there is a big difference between a person coming up on stage and expressing something uh, to an audience of one or two hundred people uh, compared to what he or she would express in a more intimate setting. Uh, so I said, you know, let's do this corporate video. Uh, so I thought this would be a very good opportunity to, uh, to test out my gear as well as to test uh, the process and workflow that I hope I can use for future documentary work. I wish I could show you the actual uh, corporate documentary itself, but I haven't really gotten permission from my clients to show it. Uh, I'm going to go through the list of equipment first. Uh, what are the challenges uh, and learnings that I had from making this corporate documentary? So first things first, I shot the whole documentary using my A7 Mark III uh, with the 85mm f1.8 from Sony. I didn't actually shoot it at f1.8. I, I chose to shoot everything at f2 simply because I wanted to make sure that the entire face was sharp. So that's the camera. This was mounted on a tripod. I actually toyed with the idea of having a second camera, um, the, the one that I'm shooting this vlog with, my A6400, but I decided against it because uh, one of the uh, limitations I had put on myself was that I have to be able to do this alone. I didn't want to have a crew with me, I didn't want to have a team with me, and I wanted to test the idea of me a being able to, to just go solo on this one. And putting in a second camera would just stress my process out and it stressed me out. So we just had one camera. For audio purposes, I uh, used the uh, Techstar SGC F98, uh, which is this uh, microphone here. It is a super cheap microphone which gives incredible value. Uh, as far as audio is concerned, you get to a point where uh, any differences in audio quality as you spend more money cannot be uh, realized or uh, discerned by uh, normal average people like me. So I was okay with using the SGC Techstar F98. This was a mounted on the camera. Instead, I had put this, mounted this on the, put this in, on this mini light stand. Which was put on a table uh, cl as close to the interviewee as possible without it getting into the frame. So I was, had to make sure that it was like this. This, uh, in turn, so with this, I then, uh, con I have this super long uh, extension cable. So I mounted it like that and this then connected to the
A7 Mark III. Uh, and that was the setup. So, uh, microphone on a light stand connected through an extension cable to the A7 Mark III. Uh, and this was mounted on the table as close to the interviewee as possible, making sure that it's uh, out of frame. So, that was the setup. Then, uh, for audio monitoring, I had used this. This is actually is a wireless uh, noise reduction microphone. Put this there. This in turn plugged in. Directly into the A7 Mark III. So I can actually hear what the camera is recording, which I found to be extremely important. Uh, and it does uh, allay a lot of uh, stress and insecurities to be able to hear what is actually being recorded. Uh, for lighting, uh, I remember I, I wanted to make sure that I can do this solo. So I had a very simple lighting setup and uh, uh, a two lighting setup. One is this light here, uh, which would give a little bit of a rim light to my back here. And then there is this light, uh, which is the Godox SL60W uh, mounted uh, on a light stand with a 60 centimeters um, a softbox and, and this was the two, uh, two uh, light setup that I was using. I was tempted to have a three lighting setup, but again, that would have stressed me out. Let me take this out. That would have stressed me out a lot because I was doing this solo. Uh, so that was my uh, uh, production setup uh, for editing. Uh, everything was recorded on the on the SD card, and then my editing, uh, my preferred editing uh, software is LumaFusion uh, 2.2, I think, on the iPad Pro, which is this one, which I found to be incredibly useful. I have quite a high-end laptop uh, uh, running Windows 10 with DaVinci Resolve um, uh, installed in it. And that used to be what I uh, had uh, used to edit my blogs. But I found that, uh, first of all, that laptop was heavy. Uh, second of all, uh, it wasn't very convenient to use because there is a setup time. I have to put it on the table. I have to turn it on and you know uh, get the mouse in and all of that. Whereas if I had used my iPad, I can literally, it's just a matter of switching it on and I can edit immediately. And that uh, really accelerated my workflow a lot. So that was the setup. If you like this video, click on the like button. Um, I uh, would appreciate uh, a, a subscription to this channel. Uh, it would be really appreciated. I'm still on 60 subscribers and I want to reach my target of 100 subscribers. Uh, things have been pretty general as far as the uh, blogs I've uploaded is concerned, but I'm gradually uh, narrowing it and zooming it down to things that I really want to talk about uh, as far as this channel is concerned. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Thank you.